And Mariam, thank you so much for um, for being the first person. I mean, I'm telling you, this has been a real adventure because, of course, the uh, the librarians of the Akashic Records, you know, they've been, you know, they're with me all the time now. They're just always around, and um, they were. Um, They've been wanting me to do this sort of live stream thing. It's been a process because I said to them, I can't live stream and take questions from the audience when my eyes are closed and I'm out of my body and you guys are in my body. That's just like, you know, especially people are typing questions in. So you, Mariam, are the person they chose. You were like the only person they wanted for today. And I, I hope that you will come back. And so we're going to be doing this regularly. And um, there are some other people who will be coming through, but they were like, your frequency is so beautiful and like galactic and angelic and open and pure that they, they were like, you know, like when you asked me who else, what other options were there, I'm like, no, just you. <laughs> You're the only one they wanted. And I hope I can do them proud. Yeah. We yeah. have a couple of people. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Kit. Hi, everyone. So um, welcome. The librarians have things they want to say and they want, they, the librarians love answering questions. They love it. So um, I'm here today with Mariam Sardari, who is the only person on our planet that the librarians wanted to be here for this extraordinary experiment. Um, Hi, everyone. Fiorella, Linda. We've got people <laughs> joining us here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the librarians of the Akashic Records, who are my, I don't know, I think of them as my family, my dear friends, my teachers, um, they, our planet's going through a huge evolutionary process at this moment, a surge, and the librarians want as many people as possible to be positively interactive with this. So um, we're going to chat about that. Why don't I check out now? And um, so Mariam, uh, you go ahead and take the floor for a moment. Okay. All right. We want to welcome everyone while, while Bonita is going into, she's going to step outside of herself. <laughs> We're just going to give her a couple of minutes until she centers and you know um, does what she needs to do to bring forth the librarians. In the meantime, I want to welcome everybody. This is um, my first experience of this kind, so bear with me if I stumble. <laughs> but we will try to um, get some questions in. I think what will happen first is uh she once she goes into the channel the librarians would probably have something to say themselves and then they will open the floor to questions at least that's what i am uh, expecting to happen so um, very exciting thank you for joining all of us and uh, we'll all figure out what they have to say <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll give them a minute if you guys have specific questions, just, you know, jot them down and, and uh, hang on to them until we get a chance to um, ask our questions. Here we go. We are. We are appearing. Uh, 
our sweet conduit is somewhat resistant, so we are depositing her elsewhere so she does not interfere. Yes, this feels much better. We thank you and we are pleased to be here with you on this most noble effort. Our good friend, how are you on this lovely day? Doing very well. Thank you so much for coming. We have some people who have joined us here and um, are waiting to ask some questions. But in the meantime, if there is anything specific you would like to address, we invite you to do so. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, of course. And of course, we have agreed to speak on your planet's evolutionary process for it is important that as many humans, be you of human soul origin or chosen to be human for a time, it is important that as many humans as possible make use of this time to evolve your spirits, which of course will be of great benefit to your planet and is, as it is going through this new birthing cycle. We wish to share a small tidbit of information and then we will go forward in conversation. Great. If you look upon your planet through all of your planet's history, you will notice each cycle of life has grown upon the energies of those of the last cycle. If you look through the billions of years, you will see it has not been a continuous flow, but ebbs and flows, but each cycle is built upon the framework, the grid, the networks, the genetic potential of what was there before them. We are now at the closing end of one cycle of karmic lessons for your planet. It is not just our hope, but everyone's hope that humanity will be here to usher in the new cycle as opposed to becoming the fodder for what will evolve next. We would like you and current life on your planet to be that which evolves next. There is no worry on our side for already if humanity fails, there is another race that will come in and take over. But again, it is preferred that you do so. So if humans can stop fighting and return to the energy grids of your planet, that would be helpful for this. If you look now, you will see all animals and all life on your planet is in harmony with their grids and networks and contracts. Of course, the individuals may not feel that way while in life, but their soul groups are, humans are the only ones who have separated from the balance and harmony of life on your planet. It is important that you re-merge into this energy network. 
can I then have... everything will be much easier for you. Think on your life, the times when you have steadfastly refused to be in harmony with your soul's purpose and your life path, things became difficult until you were forced to learn whatever lessons you were resisting and again continue in harmony with your path and purpose. It is the same but magnified a bit. It is our wish to help humanity return to your purpose and your path so you may be in harmony and healthful joyousness with your planet. That is our message. Can I ask a question? This is, of course, why we are here. What is your question? Um, you mentioned to for humanity to get back in touch with, mm, harmoniously back in touch with our grids and energetic grids, I guess, uh, back to what it is. I'm a little bit confused on that, but you said to get back in touch with that. Do you have any recommendations of how that can be done? Certainly. The easiest way is to study nature and see how those who thrive in nature manage this and then emulate them. Of course, helping beings of nature to have an environment and a colony to thrive is a part of that. So environmental conservatism is one way to be reminded how humans may live in harmony. An other way is to look in history, how ancient indigenous cultures lived in harmony with your planet, or to time travel if you are one who is adept with that skill. That's a tall order, right? There. <laughs> but thank you for that suggestion. Uh, Peggy was asking a is asking a question. Actually, that's a really good one. Um, you mentioned if we fail at this, there is another race that is ready to come through. Can you elaborate on that, please? Who's going to take over if we fail? Certainly, it is a race that is trying to help your planet at this moment. They are in the ethers in this dimension, but a different frequency. They are a collective that has the ability to become physical for a period of time, which they utilize to come down here and help humans. There are times when you feel you have met an angel in human form, but often it is not an angel, it is these beings we mentioned. If humans fail, then you will give your skill of physicality to them, like as though you are handing a baton in a relay race, then you will lose your physicality while they fix the earth and reclaim it, but they will be more gelatinous of form, meaning they will hold their cohesive form, but they will never be as solid as you are for being totally in the three dimensions is not something they can do for time. They will always be porous, energetically porous, which will be very helpful for your environment for they eke out of their 
fours, fourth, fifth, seventh, and ninth dimensions and with their breaths. So they will, by their essence, revitalize your planet. Then in your linear timeline future, they will invite you to return. Um, so we will be handing over, so to speak, our three-dimensionality uh, willingly, or how is that going to happen? As a soul collective, it will be willingly. As individuals, there will be much warring on your planet for those who are younger souls who resist. Okay. Well, um, going back to the whole harmonious, uh, harmony, harmoniousness and just getting in harmony with nature and the grids, um, it does look a little bit, it seems like, I don't know, it just looks a bit bleak at the moment because there are so many uh, warring factions all over the world. There is division in this area, in this country, um, even within spiritual communities, there is huge division, you know, ideological, what have you. And um, it seems like, you know, instead of sort of getting cohesive with each other, we're all like dividing from each other. Um, what would you say we could do in order to basically come together as one instead of paying attention to our differences. This is an excellent question. Of course, the response is enormous, but we will find the relevant details for this moment. Of course, you are literally burning and flooding your planet and where or blowing it up or warring upon it. Yes, there's much discord in your planet at this moment. The more humans have discord to each other, the more your planet will reflect this. Do you not notice? you are increasing your wars and your dissonance, the planet is responding as well. Yes. Of course, we do not negate the scientists who have been mapping the progress of this human destruction upon your planet. We are in alliance with them, for we are the researchers, the librarians, we tell the humans to listen to science, for the science is the religion of the current observations and understandings. When humanity learns to come together in respect, the earth will calm down. It will not be the same as it was. That is gone. There is a potential, however, for a wonderful future, just different from what you expected before you saw what was happening now. Of course, for the fires in the north, you have your climate change activity. You also have dammed many water resources and diverted the water so areas that grew naturally dependent on certain elements coming to them, wasted and dehydrated became natural tinder. So yes, you can map every issue on your planet to humans believing you knew better than everyone else. You are like rebellious teenagers. And Mother Earth is the adult that you are rebelling against. 
every one of you who has seen such a teenager with their tantrums and rejecting all words out of adults' mouths, this is how you appear to our planet, to all who love you. We are waiting patiently for you to mature enough that you can connect with rationality and reason. The rational way through this series of ever increasing issues is to love one another without uh, expectations, just pure love. That is the only way through it. We believe this is inevitable, it will happen. However, we do not know how much death there will be before this simple solution sinks in to the common mentality. Yes. Well, just to bring a current um, in event that's taken over the globe is this pandemic that started about over about six months ago or so and um, I'm sure you're you're familiar with that is a virus that has been very contagious and um, however the issue is the a lot of it has accelerated the division ideological division in a lot of different areas uh, within different communities a lot of people, especially in this country, in this region, in the world, um, they don't believe it to be real. Some people do not think it's uh, serious. There is a lot of fear mongering, true from political leaders. However, um, the, the idea of wearing a mask is very um, unpleasant to most people and a lot have stopped wearing it and keeping some sort of distance from one another saying that this is not you know, right and all that. So um, would you mind addressing that and um, letting us, just telling us whether we are to expect this to go away? Is it just BS or, you know, should we be continue being careful? All of that, if you could speak to that a little bit. This virus, which you blame so much, not you, in general, you blame so much upon, is not a cause, it is an effect. If you do not like the effect, you must change the behavior that created the cause. The cause, of course, was humans disrespecting other lives on the planet. The cause was humans disrespecting the planet. Of course, this is a general statement. In more specifics, it is also individual humans thinking that they know best and they know better than others. So if others disagree with them, the others must be below best. Hmm. This is and we are not accusing any individuals joining. If we give offense, we apologize. This is a, we're speaking in generals and commonalities at this moment. But to understand, the majority of you do not even know, you are not even aware of your life path and your soul contracts. You are not connected cohesively with your soul. You do not even know why you are here, much less what life path 
others are pursuing. You do not know why they are here and for what purpose. So how can you make any effort to manage them, much less a micromanage of them, or to place value judgment upon them? This is, again, the human arrogance. And of course, we are not speaking to those who are watching unless it feels resonates within your bosom. We are speaking in general across societies right. that one group thinks they know better than another group. So they must force the other group to be like them as opposed to saying each of us is a resonance within the mandala, the grid of energy around the, our planet. If we are different but harmonize, then everyone is empowered by the others. Instead, the humans are tearing each other down. Since you are tearing each other down, you are lowering the frequency of energy in your planet. You're lowering not just the harmonic grid frequencies, but also your hearts, your spirits. You are lowering the mentality. <coughs> we apologize. We, we absorb too much of the energy for which we speak. It chokes upon us. You then you also are choking from this energy since you know your energy has the potential to be much greater then there must be blame upon others and they must either be harmed so your energy can be higher or they must be forced to rise with you to your end it's a great deal of forcing as opposed to allowing so Hmm. We come off track one moment. Hmm. So the live and let live attitude, the you are different from me. I would like to learn about you so that I may honor you as I honor me. The ho'oponopono, the we are one, therefore, if we exist in loving harmony, we will always rise higher together. These are attitudes that must begin to return across your entire planet. For we tell you, you think this virus is bad. No, it is they first bugling of the horn. Heed the warning or what is to come will make this look not that terrible. Oh dear. Duly noted. However, we also say there are humans on your planet who had agreed as part of the great vision of things to be a bit of the villain or the simpleton. So do not overly concern if not everyone agrees with you or is in harmony with you. Connect with those you are in harmony with and love each whomever you connect with for themselves and you will find the more you honor everyone that you can honor and put your attention to those that you can actively honor if more and more people do this there will be much very fast healing Okay. okay, thank you very much. Um, I invite uh, other people to ask questions. If anybody else has any questions, please put it in the comment section so we can ask the librarians.
to address. We are them. very happy to answer questions. It is a joy for us. We fear we are bringing fear. <laughs> we frighten when we mean to illuminate. There is much happening now that is terrifying. We see many possible futures branching. It is such a chaotic experience at this moment. We tell you, it would be good to find the power within yourself and fill it with love self-value and appreciation and then invite all who wish to be filled with self-appreciation to be among your peers okay if thank that you. makes sense yes yes it makes perfect sense thank you very much well it doesn't look like there are any more questions so mm -hmm. if um you have any closing comments by all means Feel free, otherwise we thank you for coming through and speaking to us. This is our pleasure and we are filled with gratitude for you, our dear friend, and for all who joined us. Blessings. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh my God. How they were, were they? They were great. They were great. I, I ended up asking most of the questions, but there, there were a couple. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, well. They dropped me off somewhere a long time ago, like a couple of billion years ago, and they left me there. They said something interesting. They said if we do not take care of what's happening now, like with humanity, it just doesn't come to pay attention to itself, that there is another race um, waiting to come through. Dang. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're replaceable apparently so oh man oh. they're sort of gelatinous and they're not as three the like solid as we are however they will swap and help us out but wow we, we better take care of ourselves ourselves was the recommendation <laughs> Not to say instruct. <laughs> oh man. Well, we better get our act together. I know. They did show me, they did show me a vision as they were sending me back, which was like all the mandalas around our planet. Wow. The mandalas of nature and how the human mandala had pulled from it and was like crumbling. Really? Oh yeah. And then when they sent me back in time, it was when a lot of the mandalas on our planet were like really primitive and powerful, like so much energy, but none of the species that are alive now were alive then. You know, it was like, really long ago and they were sh and i was like looking at these mandalas around the planet and they were like so powerful and they were like nourishing the planet wow and what i saw now is like before they sent me back most of the mandalas i saw were not nourishing the planets 
they were like just trying to survive. It's like um, when you have a garden and you're not giving it compost and nutrients. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, they sounded like you know they did sound somewhat hopeful that we would get on this sort of like wake up and and take care of things but um yeah it's certainly looking a little bit grim at the moment a little grim but they they look to me like they think we can do it yeah they they seem i mean they try to encourage us you know they they try to say hey if you just get together and unite you can do this even though things are looking very chaotic and all things are happening all over the place you can still come together and and do this so mm-hmm. hopefully i think so i'm feeling safe yeah <laughs> since they're still very connected with me i think they're feeling safe and hope yeah yeah, I'm going to yeah. hang on to that idea. <laughs> uh, well, thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, thank everybody. You. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks.